So, I have battled with depression my whole life. I started being anxious and depressed probably in middle school. And not too far after that is when I started doing drugs. So after drugs, of course, the depression and the anxiety came back. If they weren't there during drug use, they were. But most of the time, I would write them off as, oh, um, it's the drug that's making me have anxiety, or, oh, it's the lack of drugs that are making me depressed. So I never really learned how to deal with my depression and my anxiety. And I know that there's many people out here that have depression and anxiety, and they never use drugs, and they never had to go on an antidepressant, and they've learned how to, you know, work with themselves and their body and cope with um, the depression and the anxiety that they have. I have too learned how to do this. I do have some help. I do take, I'm down to one anti antidepressant and I'm slowly coming off of that. But there's something that I do that has changed my life when it comes to depression and anxiety. And before I get into it, I'm going to tell you, of course, you know, I'm not a doctor and or a therapist. I am in recovery from 20 years of drug, drug addiction, 10 strong years of Adderall addiction. And while I was doing Adderall, of course, I was doing all the other drugs that we do along with Adderall, like Xanax, drinking, but the major drug there was Adderall. That was the one that really kept me going. That was the one that I couldn't stop without basically stopping everything and massive withdrawals. So after I got clean and I went to, actually I had to go to um, rehab and I got out. And the one thing that came with me was my depression and my anxiety. Which one is it, depression or anxiety? Well, I would probably say it's a little bit of both, but they're both so manageable now. And I, I wonder if they've always been manageable. Now, I'm not saying that there aren't times when I may have bigger situations, bigger problems going on in my life, hormones, whatever, and that I really, really could face some depressive states, of course. But my normal state of being and my depression isn't quite so strong. And I've learned how to handle it without any narcotics. So the one thing that I do, there's a few things I do. Well, I liked Adderall, right? And Adderall is your dopamine. And so obviously what I like is that dopamine reward system. I like that feeling. I like those endorphins. They make me happy. They make me feel good. And so what is dopamine? Dopamine makes you goes off when you have accomplished something, when you pass a, t a grade, a pass a, um, a pass a grade or a certain class, or if you get a job or you do an interview or buy something or run a mile or even like clean a kitchen, you know, just something that you finish, you complete, and you feel rewarded. Like that's your dopamine. You feel good about doing that. So what I do every day, I get up very early in the morning. It's essential that I get a good night's sleep and that I wake up very early. I wake up at 4 a.m. every morning. Now, I'm not saying you have to get up at 4 a.m., but I do think you should get a good start to your day. I get up very early and before I do anything at all, you know, I wash my face, I brush my teeth and I take my supplements and I'm happy to go over what supplements I take because that would be a whole video <laughs> because my body definitely needs and likes, you know, its vitamins. 
So I do that. I go upstairs and even before I work out now, I try to do some work as I work, whether it's reply to emails, I try to do the things that have been hanging in my head from the previous day. So I get that done very fast, like within 20 minutes. My brain works very fast in the morning. I, maybe I'll put on that 30 minute brown noise and I'll give myself 30 minutes to do these emails or create whatever I have to do that day, um, plan for my day, whatever it is I need to do. I do that. And in 30 minutes, it's so shocking how much you can get done at early in the morning when nothing else is going on. Then after that, I put that down and then I do a meditation, yoga meditation. Um, and then after that, one of my most important things is going outside and running. Now, I'm not saying that you have to run, but I, I urge you to get outside first thing in the morning. Like before you've eaten anything, unless of course you're a diabetic or you have some certain diet, dietary needs and you have to um, eat. But like I try to do this fasting thing until basically I finish everything I need to do in the morning. Because my mind works much better and it stays focused before I eat. So also it gives me a reason to get things done because I like eating. I like to snack. Who doesn't, right? So I will go outside and I run anywhere between three and five miles. And I have been doing that since lockdown. So three years now, is that three years? Since 2020, March 2020. I started going outside every morning and running for 30 minutes. Now I run for about an hour. And during that run, it has to be outside. I can't tell you, I don't ever, every single day, I try to talk myself out of going out and running. Every single day, I don't feel like doing it. Every single day, I'm like, oh, I don't need to do this today. I will sit there and I will try to talk myself out of it. But if I have everything ready, I'm all ready. I put everything on and I just get out there and I just start running. I can't tell you five times out of the seven days, I say, I'm just going to run around the block and that's it today. And I end up doing five miles and then I come home and I feel so much better. Whatever kind of anxiety I might've had towards that day, whatever kind of depression I might've had uh, is, is gone. Now, I can work out upstairs on my bike. I have a Peloton bike. I could do that. I could do any kind of weightlifting, anything. And it's not as good for me mentally stimulating and good as getting outside with nature. Try it. Every single day. Like I'm staying every day. Now, I may have missed a total altogether of two weeks. I've had two surgeries. Actually, three surgeries. So I've, I really get right back into it because it makes me a better person for myself, makes me a better person to my husband. It makes me more lovable, more loving, and my life is just easier. I don't feel so heavy. It's like if it's raining outside, like sometimes I don't even really want to go outside to like drive somewhere. But if I go out and I run and then I come back, it's like everything it seems to be a little bit better. So then I get back after running and then it might be 7 a.m. And then I'll do like one thing like clean my bathroom or something that I need to get done. It usually takes me 20 to 30 minutes and I get that done also. This is all before I've eaten anything. And I really, really focus on doing the things that I need to do for that day. So before 9 a.m., guys, like I have most of my stuff done. And if it's the weekend, then I can go lay around all day and I don't have to beat myself up that I should have been doing something. I should have gotten this done. Oh, or all day long in your head, all day long in your head saying, oh, I got to get up and get this done. I got to do this. I got to do that. And adding to the anxiety and to the depression and this and that and, and just beating up on yourself. Just get up and do it. Just get up and do these things first thing in the morning before you start talking yourself out of whatever. Because I know it happens. I, I try to talk myself out of every day. You would think after three years of doing this that I would be like, yes, I'm so ready. No, doesn't happen. Nope. 
mm -mm, it's still hard. So I just wanted to come and give you, I don't know if it's advice or if it's just some kind of motivational to get yourself out of a hump that you might be in. But I hope it helps. I hope that you enjoy your day every day. Try to get little things done because if you do like Adderall, if you did do Adderall, it's that reward um, dopamine that you're looking for. So when you get things done, you can say, I accomplished that today. It's a good day. And it's only 9 a.m. And you got the whole rest of the day. If you work, then you, of course you've got to like work with it a little bit. I do work from home and I like to start work at 8. So that's really why I get up so early. Because I want to get all these things done before I even start for work. So then this way I can really focus in on work. And I don't feel like, oh, i got all these things in the background that I need to do. So, once again, not a therapist, but my name is Lauren. I'd love it if you hit like and subscribe. That would be cool if I got a few more subscribers. I'm sitting at like 200, I think. And I appreciate every single one of you. Thanks so much.